Hi, Amanda. Hi, Gary. So, look, this is just an opportunity for you to share just a few moments, I guess, or messages or salient points from the conference. Um, you know, you've been back a couple of days now, and I'm sure you've thought a little bit more um, since you've been back. So, really, just uh, what were the highlights for you? Um, how you felt about the conference, really? What are some of the things you're more interested in getting to the bottom of, I guess, and anything that you think we need to, as a school, think about for the future? Well, um, I was thinking uh, one of the course, one of the seminars I went to was with Meg Ormiston, who looked at being digitally savvy, and I think it was a real positive for us at West End School because we're actually, I think, further on than Australia and America in a yeah. lot of areas. Um, I think American and Australian teachers are very proud and confident IT users, but they don't actually. It's all about them as the teacher, not about children. Whereas I think here at West End School, we're really good at getting um, our children to tutor each other. And it's not about us being the experts, but about children. So that came out of that, that actually, I think, IT-wise, e-learning-wise, New Zealand's actually a little bit further along than America and Australia. Awesome. And, um, so I found that really interesting. I found it really interesting also in the area of e-learning as far as teachers goes with Jennifer Abraham, Abrams who spoke about um, the importance of making sure we have guidelines for our younger teachers in the area of social media and so that thinking wow. about Facebook, Twitter, um, the importance of remembering that we're teachers 24-7 and that whatever we say on Facebook is in a public place and can be used against us. Um, the importance of not um, befriending parents on Facebook or um, our students on Facebook and being very conscious that what goes on Facebook or Twitter can be used legally against us um, as well as text messaging. I think we need to do some work around making sure that everybody's aware of that. Yeah, that's a really important point. We don't have that as part of our own induction. Um, no. thing. Is that something you think that you might be keen on doing as part of an ongoing self-review yes, within the school? I think so because... I think that we make a lot of assumptions of what people think and one of the things we learnt with Jennifer Abrams is there is generational differences and so I assume that I wouldn't share stuff on Facebook that it relates to school and that I keep it very just about my family whereas it's used a lot by the younger generation as that's what we do and I think it needs to be made aware that actually it can't be done like that okay. and it's not what we do as teachers. Ah, well I look forward to that, that's going to be really interesting yeah. I think to, to sort of get to a wee bit more depth on that one. Yes. Anything else you want to share from the conference because that's a couple of heavy kind of things really. Pretty heavy, we had a wonderful time with a presenter called uh, Kathy Perez, it was very motivational, um, inspirational around student engagement, student learning got some really good ideas I'm going to try out in the classroom and I'm really keen the importance of engaging all our children, um, breaks and opportunities to um, switch their brains back on. Um, she was very inspirational. I've got her book, um, more than a hundred ideas I think it is to keep the brain yeah. busy, something like that, yeah. but it's really, really easy to read. And yeah. really and I know you said you were real keen to share it with your team as well yes. and to you know get them going with that as well. So that's great to that's hear. Good nice one. Yep, and I guess I suppose my final comment I'd like to say is that how grateful I'm a teacher in New Zealand, how grateful my children are going through the New Zealand education system. I think seriously about taking my children to Australia to learn. Um, I think our educational opportunities here in New Zealand are far more child-friendly, child-centred. In New Zealand it's all about our children and their learning and their voice. Mm. Australia and America, it's all about meeting standards and um, the pressure for teachers to have a prescribed curriculum where they have to um, teach on a certain day, certain subjects from a certain page. There's no room for integration. Mm. Um, and and who, and, and who cares about the students and what they say and how they feel. Mm. They, they don't have time for that. So yeah. I just think um, it was a great confirmation of what great teachers we are in New Zealand and how lucky we are with our education system. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. We've got to, of course, work hard to preserve that. You know, um, we've still got our challenges in terms of trying to make sure that we preserve our curriculum and, and our right 
to have a school's curriculum in particular and to ensure we take into account the kids' needs and their interests and their abilities. Uh, we don't want anything to erode that really and we certainly don't want to get to a situation where we get told what to teach on a certain day at a certain time and how it should be assessed. Mm. And we certainly don't want it to be used as a way of getting uh, 